Now to our continuing coverage on this subject, SwissPod, the company that's planning to build and test a full-scale Hyperloop prototype in Pueblo, took an early step this week in eventual construction of that project. News 5's Andy Cohen joins us live from Pueblo County tonight with an update on the story. Andy. Yeah, this week the company's CEO shared a photo on Twitter of crews doing some soil testing work on the Pueblo Plex property where that track will be built. That soil test is going to provide engineers with some important data that they need when it comes to designing and building that full scale prototype for the Hyperloop here in Pueblo. Before you build, you have to dig. And that's just what's happening this week at the Pueblo Plex. And once we have this test and once we test those parameters, we'll be ready to start. Uh, uh, manufacturing the infrastructure. So we're almost probably were two months away to, to, to put in place the first, uh, first parts of the concrete in the, in the ground in Colorado. That prototype will look like this one that the company built near their headquarters in Switzerland, just quite a bit larger. CEO Dennis Tudor said that they are planning an hour long test on the reduced scale track later this summer, a first in the Hyperloop industry. In this one hour ride will be capable to show the fundamental metrics such as energy consumption, neutral carbon footprint speed, uh, that those are possible with the hyper transportation systems. The Swiss pod design uses pods like these to carry cargo or up to 30 passengers between major cities in minutes. They'll move through a vacuum sealed tube reaching near supersonic speeds with a propulsion system that's designed to be carbon neutral. You are in uh, Switzerland, we want to benchmark uh, the best solution that will go to the full scale in the in the US. In September, SwissPod and the Transportation Technology Center Incorporated announced a partnership with plans to build and test that full scale prototype on the Pueblo Plex property. And earlier this month, the American Association of Railroads announced that they had changed the name of TTCI. It'll now be known as MXV Rail. In Pueblo County, Andy Cohen, News 5.